Hello, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today YoYo Games announced the $39 Creator Edition of their popular Game Maker Studio 2. Now, this edition is aimed at the hobbyists, that's $39 per year, by the way, and let's jump in and try to figure out exactly what this means. Now, if you've never heard of it, Game Maker Studio is a um, seminal game engine. It's been around for a very long time. In fact, it's been around since about 1999-ish, under different names over time. Uh, it was once called Animo, then it was called Game Maker and then eventually Game Maker Studio, but this is an engine that has been around for several years now, and it has been used to create several commercial games, indie games that you've probably heard of, such as Undertale, Luftreisers, um, Hotline Miami, and Spelunky, amongst many others. Um, if you've been through the indie section on Steam, you have probably seen a number of Game Maker games. Now, this new version is aimed at the beginner, and they do have a free version available, but that free version is very resource restricted. This is actually a full functioning version with some caveats. And the number one caveat of this new creator edition, which you can see right here on the buy page, if you go to yoyogames.com forward slash get, um, allows you unlimited assets and advanced Game Maker Studio 2 game design functionality, so it is not stripped down. However, there are some catches. Uh, Let's jump in, take a look when you go to the purchase page at what those catches are. Now, first one you see right here is there is a Mac version and there is a Windows version and they are separate SKUs. So you have to buy one for the platform you want to work on. So if you want to make Windows games, you've got to buy the Windows SKU. Now, if you want to get away from this, you know, if you're down the road, you want to create and publish a game, etc., your developer version up here, this $99 a year version, will give you access to more additional platforms. So this is only a limitation of this new creator edition. The other thing to be aware of right up front, and this is going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people, or for some people anyways, um, it does have a splash screen on the generated binaries. So, um, you know, if you're looking at this as creating anything other than hobbyist projects, it's probably not the right version for you. Again, you're going to probably want to jump up to that developer edition that does not have this caveat. And here you can see the functionality in it. Unlimited resources, integrated source control, texture management, SWF, uh, spine support, extensions, marketplace access, and Windows export. If you go to the Mac version, obviously that will be replaced with Mac export. Now, next we've got over here, there's an FAQ available. I'll link this down below. Uh, but basically, it's describing what each individual version is good for, why you would use one or the other. And you will notice that the creator's license is very much aimed at the beginner. So to recap what I just said, you buy either the Windows or Mac OS license. So if you need the multiple platforms, you either need to get a different version or buy two different licenses. Uh, and then that gives you the IDE for your platform choice. You cannot change the splash screen. At the same time, you cannot disable anonymous uh, game analytics, which seems a little annoying because that's going to require Actually, I guess on Windows or, or Mac, it doesn't matter for permissions, but, um, and your executable can only be compiled using the uh, virtual machine instead of the YoYo compiler. So you're gonna have some performance issues there. Potentially, the YoYo compiler will generate a tighter, faster executable on the various different platforms. So if you need that additional speed, you need to get the better version. Um, what this really is aimed at is for hobby developers or for people that just want to have fun making small game projects for themselves while the free version is too limited for you. So it's kind of a tier between basically people aimed at making commercial projects and those willing to play around. Now, if you're playing around, are you willing to pay $40 a year? I don't get into value propositions. Those are very personal to the individual person. Uh, but it is nice that they've got this here because there's a lot of people out there that are probably paying for a developer license with no intention of ever shipping what they create. So to them, this is, you know, a more than 50% savings that, you know, for the exact same product they're paying for. So it's definitely nice on that level, but this really is not aimed at, you know, shipping products. This is more for creating games that you can play with your friends. Now, there's nothing to limit you from it, uh, but you do have that splash screen for sure. Uh, really... That's probably it for the announcements today. So this is still the same old Game Maker 2. If you've never heard of Game Maker, I'll actually link a video I did down below uh, that was hands-on shortly after Game Maker 2 was released. That was actually a fairly new version, released a couple of months ago. Additionally, I'm actually working on a closer look at review for Game Maker um, Studio 2. It's going to be a little slow, but coming shortly. If you want to learn more about Game Maker Studio and what you get out of it, stay tuned to the channel. We will have some more in-depth coverage. And if you guys are interested, I can do some Game Maker, um, you know, entry level tutorial stuff so you get an idea of what the development process is like. Do let me know down below in the comments. Do let me know what you think of this version. And I know there's going to be several people out there that just think the age of 
for sale um, game engines is gone you know and you know you're not going to be swayed by a lower price if that's the case you know you're going to sit there well why don't i just use good dough or whatever and there are merits for and against and again i will get into that in greater depth when i do the uh, review so i understand some people it's going to be a no-go forever and then for some people that are already buying game maker for just you know hobbyist purposes you can now save a whole lot of money and get the exact same thing so this is probably going to be a bit of a boon for you but i'd be interested to know what you think of this release down below um also if you're into game development news hands-on tutorials that review i was talking about coming up uh you name it if you're not already subscribed please do so uh hopefully we'll find all kinds of stuff here for you to love all right that's it i know this is going to probably be a polarizing subject a lot people have opinions on game maker one way or the other to me it's another tool in the toolbox it's another choice to choose from uh, it definitely has its strengths it has its weaknesses and again i will cover that in more depth soon but i think this is a good move by yo-yo games i like that you know they are making it more accessible to more people i do question if this version maybe should be their free version um I don't know, that's a business decision that I personally don't want to make, but the age of full commercial game engines for hobbyists, uh, yeah, we might be getting to the end of that. So uh, we'll see where this goes in the long run. There's also a lot of people that really do not like subscriptions, and I can understand that perspective too. I do kind of wish there was an option to just buy outright. And I actually don't know how this, the different developer licenses are permanent licenses with one-off purchase price. That's one of those things about the normal version, but I'm not sure. Let me just check that. It doesn't really say. So I'm not sure if this creator license is in perpetuity like the developer license is or not. Um, okay, at the it's a 12-month non-renewing license. At the end of the 12-month period, you will need to buy another license. Okay, so that's unfortunate. So if you get the developer's license, these are actually permanent licenses, where this is basically a $40 a year trial license, or not really trial, but um, it's a straight-out subscription as opposed to an outright purchase. And I know, again, that is a very polarizing thing for some people. Um, again, interested to hear what you say. Let me know in the comments down below. That uh, should be an interesting conversation, but that is the new $39 uh, creator edition of Game Maker. Uh, all right, I will see you all later. Goodbye.